Well, good everybody, and thanks for joining me. Well, I've had some questions over the last 12 months or so of how to actually make Spark footage look a little bit better than what it does coming straight off the camera. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is run through my Premiere Elements 2018 program, just a few of the settings that I pop in there, and hopefully that will give you some idea and help someone out to uh, try and tweak that little Spark footage uh, just that little bit better. So let's get to it. Okay, so what we want to do first is add the media. So top left-hand corner, add media, program files, uh, D. I'll get into the spark footage sapphire beach and I'll go down to this one there once I've selected that file it obviously goes into project assets and I'll grab that and I'll pop it down into the timeline which will set the timeline now for that entire project at uh, 1080p at 24 bit as that is what the spark footage is so here is the spark footage here straight off the camera and this is a sunrise down here at sapphire beach Beautiful stuff. What I'll generally do is uh, I'll just cut what I want. So uh, I'll just get that, cut that there, cut that to there. That'll do. I'll left click that, uh, delete and close gap, which will take everything to the beginning of the timeline. And then I will just delete that one there. Okay, so here we go, the small little clip we got there. The first thing that I will do is go into my uh, effects over here. And uh, obviously, you've got to select that clip. Uh, down there uh, and I'll go into image control now I'll grab that and pop that down onto the timeline what that is is your brightness contrast hue and saturation um, now I will muck around a little bit with the brightness here I'll just pop that down a little bit contrast we'll just take a bit of the glare out of those clouds and the saturation now I don't generally muck around too much with the saturation here because the saturation does the entire clip um, and I'll just pop a little bit in here just to give you an idea. Not too much, otherwise it just gets ridiculous. The next thing that I will do is go into Haze Removal. Now, I don't put this into every clip. Uh, I generally pop it in just to have a look to see what it does, and if it does any good, I'll use it. And I will use it on that clip there because it does uh, give the, the sky a little bit more detail. The next thing I'll do is go into HSL Tuner. Pop that down. I won't generally touch the hue, saturation, or luminous. I'll I'll just use the saturation. Uh, and then what we'll do here is uh, pop in a little bit of orange. Isolate the colours a little bit more than what an entire saturation would do. And I might pop a little bit of blue in. Now, bearing in mind, I'm probably going a little bit uh, over on the settings that I'm doing, uh, but this gives you an idea of, of what's happening. Um, and the next thing I'll do, I'll leave that one there. The next thing I'll do is go into, very important with the spark footage, uh, is to put digital sharpening in. It puts an edge on a lot of the footage, which makes it look a little bit better. I'll just pump that up a bit and I'll show you just exactly now. I'll just go to the extreme of that sharpening there. You can see it's just way too sharpened. But that's what it does. You can see it just it leaves uh, edges around everything. So what I'll do is I'll pop that back and I'll take that to probably around about... Yeah, 31's okay. So there you go. Quickly and easily make the footage look a little bit better uh, than the standard. And what I'll do now is just take that back to the beginning. I'll knock everything out. Doink, 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 doink. Ease removal. There's your standard footage. I'll pop in the image control. I'll pop in the haze removal. Pop in the HSL. And then the sharpening. And there you have it. That's the final clip, which um, I would probably use and, and pop up to YouTube. So hopefully that has answered some questions there for the Spark footage. Uh, the Spark itself still has a decent enough camera in it. You can do stuff like this with it. Uh, so hopefully, as I said, it's helped someone. And if you've got Premiere Elements, or even you can use other programs with similar features uh, to get your Spark footage looking a little bit better. I'll be doing a couple more tutorials on uh, editing to music. We're expanding the, the WAV file itself so you can actually see the beats within the music and, and cutting your footage to that. So uh, look out for that one in the future. So anyway, thank you very much for popping in. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I shall see everybody on the next one. Ciao.